You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and I don't necessarily have to introduce you to our next guest because she has her own show and she's a state rep and she was on TV every Monday night for the city I council. I my own show. Welcome, Michelle. Nice How to are you? See you. Thank you, Mark, for you having me. You are doing such a good thing. There's a, 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 a whole series of discussions of difference, and the way it's listed here is building empathy, understanding, and inclusion in the Greater Brockton community. Um, you've kicked it off at the end of February. Right. We've got three dates that we want to promote, which right. I'm going to just say out loud and then we'll talk. March 28th and April 25th, those are both at the newly renamed but not publicly announced Thomas P. Kennedy Main Branch Library. I do not know. Okay. That. And uh, May 23rd, it's going to be over at St. Edith Stein at 71 East Main Street. And the, the discussions are going to go from 6 to 8 with panel discussions starting at 6.30. So, you've promoted it all over the place, all over your Facebook, mm -hmm. it's all over, it's kind of the buzz. Right I now. hope it's the buzz, because okay. I am worried, I meet people that don't even know what's happening. So thank you for letting me come on here and talk about this discussions of different discussion series that we're hosting in the city. So it's myself, City Councilor Shana Barnes, City Councilor Moses Rodriguez, and the City Council President Bob Sullivan. We're co-hosting these discussions and we want people to be able to come. Um, the first one that happened in February, we had a little three-page reading from John Lewis's Walk with the Wind, and then we talked about a parable that he tells of his childhood where these little children held down his aunt's, you know, ramshackle shack from the big windstorm, and talked about the windstorms in our life and how these little kids were able to hold down this house that his aunt lived in, and how can we hold withstand the different storms of prejudice and bias and not understanding and the difficulties of life um, as a community. Well, let me tell you something. I think the strength of Brockton has always been its diversity. If you right, think about I love it, it. I did a whole bunch of shows uh, the last couple of weeks dealing with Lithuanian Heritage Day. We have all mm -hmm. the flag raisings. This community is diversity central. Right. Always has been Hopefully, always will always be. Always been an not immigrant boring. city. Not, not boring. boring by any stretch of the imagination. Right. And what binds people together, Michelle? Music, right. food, culture, families, all the different things. Everybody wants the same thing. Everybody does kids. want Everyone the same thing. Everyone exactly. wants safe schools, safe mm -hmm. neighborhoods, good educational right. system, opportunity. equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. And thank you for picking our library because that is the people's university and the they community They were really center. helpful. So yeah. we're really glad you're at the library. Thank you. And we're glad that you as elected officials think there's a need to talk about this right. because if you don't talk, the tone in this country right now is not a good tone. Right. We have so much more alike, us folks that live in the greater Brockton community, than we are different. Mm -hmm. You know, in our day-to-day -day living, what we experience, how we're treated, how the outside community thinks about us because we're this working class city where people are struggling and having great lives at the same time, um, and it's unique, but sometimes um, it makes maybe... Ha people have chip on their shoulder. Sometimes I feel like I have a chip on my shoulder and we have to talk about it because it isn't um, our neighbors that we're upset at for the, the societal structure and how it plays out. Um, there are a lot of people to be mad at, but it's not your neighbor. Um, it's, I want to look at how um, socioeconomic in class binds us together. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, houses around here cost the same amount, rent is around the same amount for our little area. Um, what type of people come to live here? I know that my family were all immigrants. So I'm French, Italian, French Canadian. Um, I went to a Lithuanian church growing up. I didn't understand anything that the mass was said in if I went to the early mass. So um, that type of diversity for me makes life interesting. I think if you really look around Brockton, let, 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 we'll start, we're talking greater Brockton, but your Ward 6, where right. you live, different generations of different cultures over the course of time. Of course, the Lithuanian community, the right. village, but the shoe factories, the factories, everybody Polish worked. people, Polish French people, people French Italian people, people, Jewish people, and they tons all, of different people. And they've all gotten along for yeah. years and years and years. I And had struggles for years and years and years, right? But, but I'll tell you, I never knew until I met Fred Fontaine about uh, 
the squash soup that they have on New Year's. Right. Okay? And now it's one of my favorites. I went to the Haitian ministers group did, and I waited through the three-hour long service. I love I knew, squash. Though. I knew at the end I was going to get the juju. Mm -hmm. okay? I was looking forward to that. Um, uh, Haitian community partners, all the different groups, Cape Verdean Association, the groups in this city that all help people. Shoop, NACP, and, 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 right. And, 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 and School like department. Cape Verdean Association has kind of diversified itself into the Immigration Assistance Center right. instead of just Cape Verdean. We're going to have legal okay. services attorneys at these discussions in February, March, April, and May. We're going to have ACLU attorneys at them. We're going to be talking, not just reading small little snippets from like John Lewis, maybe the comic strip um, that he wrote about his life in the civil rights mu movement. We're going to be trying to come up with some kind of work product. Mm -hmm. um, maybe have some summer socials. I know that I'm planning a Juneteenth party at um, Mulberry Street um, Playground with the AKA Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority um, and the NACP. So there's like, a, I want to have a lot of discussion about um, our neighbors and how we really like each other um, at the end of the day, even if we're different. And that's what makes us so special because this um, living close to one another helps us erase all that bias and prejudice that can creep into someone's life when they live in silos around people that don't even, that only look like them and, and only live like them. And this is especially important right now right. with the current climate, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I like to think we're different here in Brockton than, you know, some of the stuff we're hearing nationally. And I'm glad we live in the state of Massachusetts because Thank I God. Would be we're afraid. the number one state to live in in the United States. So, it just came out. There you go. Number one state in the United States to live in. So... This is all free. All There's free. no cost to any of it. Just come um, and talk. Come and talk. Lewis, specifically, apropos right now. Um, I love Luckily, Lewis. the president talked about him. I'm not going to say luckily in a negative way, but his book sales all went up when he talked about right. it. I went out and bought the book. I had right. it before. I read it before, but you know what? I went out and bought it again because I wanted to remember what he said. Mm -hmm. In Brockton, when I went to the 60th anniversary for the NAACP, there was a Jewish judge that helped found it. In oh, sure. Brockton, right. Judge Bernard Cohen. They actually right. let me give the award to his wife because he was a friend of my father's. And if you look at National NAACP, I saw the most incredible documentary. I'm going to have to share it with you if I can find it about uh, uh, a Jewish man who was one of the founders of Sears Roebuck who right. built 5,000 schoolhouses for African Americans right. down south. 5,000. Right. And That's when the great. KKK went to burn him down, he built it up again. Right. Okay. That's great. So what Persistence. you're, what we you're have doing. We to persist through the storm. What is it? Nevertheless, she persisted. Right. Is that what Nevertheless, we're she persisted. Um, right. Yeah, that's our, a, our that's a Hillary Clinton Warren. thing, I think. Senator Warren, too. Right. Okay. Gosh. Okay. So I think you're going to get a lot of people coming. I think you're going to hear a lot. I think people are going to be able feel safe. Oh, it's going to be welcoming, it. warm and fuzzy environment. Um, and we are going to talk about difference and also talk about similarities. So no one should feel any type of anxiety about coming to this. Okay, you get 30 seconds and I get 30 seconds because I just got the Minute All right. So sell it. Look at the camera and tell so, them why they should come. I hope you come to my discussion of different series that I'm hosting with the um, city councilor Shana Barnes, Moses Rodriguez, Bob Sullivan um, on February, on March 28th. It's Tuesday night, April 25th, May 23rd. Um, the purpose is to discuss how um, we're the same and how we're different and how we can make our community the best place it can be. Thank you. Perfect, Michelle. Thanks for doing it and we'll, we'll help you promote it. Thank okay. You. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.